Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and today I am reviewing a wine. Well, I've had some people ask for like vegan friendly and organic and safe wines that are uh, that are also Wine on the Dime approved in terms of pricing. Um, I'll be honest, that's a really, really hard thing to find, especially with wines here made in the States. However, I did look through the Italian wine section today and I found one that, if it's good, hopefully fits all of those criteria. So go ahead and stay tuned to learn about this purified wine. Hey everybody, before I begin today's video, if you like it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, leave a comment, click that notifications bell so you know when future videos and live streams are posted. So today I am going to be reviewing the 2019 Parato, and that's all I'm going to pronounce because I'm not going to, I'm going to butcher everything else. I really will butcher everything else, that's all I'm going to say. But I'm reviewing the 2019 Parato. It's from Sicily, Italy, it is 12.5% alcohol by volume, and I paid $13 for it at HEB. So when I was talking about this wine hitting all the criteria that people have kind of been asking for, I think this one does. So first of all, it's made with organic grapes, vegan friendly, up front. If you go into the back of the bottle, it talks about how it's more eco-friendly. So it's 70% recycled glass, 100% recycled cardboard, labels made with papers from responsible sources, it's a carbon neutral wine, it's vegan friendly, and as you can see here, there are multiple certifications talking about how uh, if you are a tree hugger, this may be the wine for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Also, first of all, screw top, plus one, no cork, no cork. So no tree bark was harmed in the making of this wine. But let's take a look to see if this wine is any good. So I did have a vegan wine not too long ago that I tried and um, it was not good. And the only thing that redeemed it was that it paired really well with Italian meatballs. So uh, being a vegan wine, the only redeeming quality is it pairing with Italian like flavored meat. Um, yeah, that, that's not a good sign for you. However, let's see if this wine is different. So from a color standpoint, medium salmon, no artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, so on the nose, eh, it's got medium, medium intensity on the nose, smells clean. Maybe medium minus on the nose. I'm really having to move stuff around here to get things to open up. I am getting a little bit of uh, red cherry, maybe a slight, very slight touch of watermelon. Man, it's, there's really not much nose coming out of this. It smells like it, it smells like it's a little bit salty, like it may have a little bit of a salinity to it. Kind of a, a, attributing to the fact that it has almost like a slight wet stone note to it. It's a very simple smelling wine. There's, there's really only a few fruit notes. Maybe, maybe there's a hint of raspberry in here. Yeah, I would say, so it's mostly cherry, raspberry, a little bit of watermelon. I mean, there's, there's really, really not much to this rosé. Uh, but let's see how it tastes. So medium body, medium plus acid. I really like that acid, that's quite nice. Medium intensity on the fruit, so I can kind of get everything going there. Especially that watermelon. The watermelon actually really comes out um, even more so than like the cherry and the raspberry. There is a bit of a wet stone effect. Uh, it really presents strongly on the finish. Low alcohol, um, finish, medium minus finish. It goes on for a tiny bit, but not too, too long. No noticeable tannin. I mean, this is simple rosé, it really is. Um, however, I will admit it's not as bad on the palate as I thought it would be because of the simplicity on the nose. So let's go ahead and get to the blick. So in terms of balance, I, I mean, I actually think you're in balance. Uh, on the nose, I was a little bit worried, uh, but here tasting it on the palate, everything seems to be right intensity and playing well together. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and, and give you a full point. Length, medium, minus finish, no points. Intensity, I'm gonna give you half a point. You had a medium minus on the nose, me medium on the palate. I mean, it's kind of presenting more up front, but I was, I'm wondering if I'm, I gave it medium minus at first whenever I was doing the nose because I just was expecting more out of it and I didn't get more instead of just expecting simplicity. So on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and give you half a point. And in terms of complexity, no points. I mean, you basically have a few fruit notes and, and that's it. I'm really not gonna give you anything there. However though, I'm gonna give you good. Uh, I think you did noticeably better than the previous vegan rosé that I've, I've tried. So uh, if you are around HEB or in a place where you can pick up uh, the Purato, which means purified by the way, 
um, then then go ahead and pick it up and try it. It's 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 a fun kind of like sit on the porch and enjoy a type of rosé, or you're having casual conversation and hors d'oeuvres, uh, maybe some, like some light cheese. Another option uh, is you could be a soccer mom or dad and you want to get drunk during a game by pouring it into a coffee mug. Um, there's a lot of things that uh, this wine could probably pair with. So. Keep that in mind as you're, as you're tasting it. It's not gonna knock your socks off. It's not gonna be super powerful. It's not gonna pair well with like super dense foods. Maybe something like a Tavel or Bandol will do, but I mean, it's not bad at all for what it is. It's, it's a fun rosé and uh, for $13, finding something that's this responsible, thank you Italy, in terms of the eco-friendliness as well as the quality. I mean, you're, you're not gonna be disappointed if you have a bottle of it. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Just click that thing down there. Like, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, and let me know, have you tried the Purato Rosé? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see y'all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.